Uh, what up, what up, guys? So, we're starting a new video today, and I'm going to be working on my boy's uh, B16 and his GSR. So, his B16 came out of his EM1. It cracked the sleeve, and I believe it damaged the head, and my other boy gave him a GSR. So, what I'm going to be doing today is just swapping over the seals, because, yeah, just put brand new seals on the B16. The B16 was never even turned on. So, I'm going to take some of the seals, the head gasket, I'm going to put those on the GSR and get the GSR ready for him to drop in the EM1. And Raul, if you're watching this, I know how much you hated the GSRs in the EM1, so you played yourself. <laughs> so let's get started. So here's the B16. Gotta bring a shitload of tools just because it's been a while since I've done Honda shit and I don't remember what I used. <laughs> so we're gonna start off and crack these loose just so we could get the seals from in here out. Like I said, they're brand new. Brand new seal in here. I already had took off the head gasket, so I'm gonna do a copper spray on that, which is right there. And I think I'm gonna have to get the the VTEC solenoid from this as well. And I'm really not sure what else, honestly. I don't know if he wants me to use this timing belt. I might have to call him. But let's get started on disassembling it. I'm not going to completely record everything, though. So I'm going to just kind of show you guys a little step by steps. Okay, so we popped off the cam caps. Make sure you guys do it in the right order. And you guys keep those in the right order. Which one goes up, which one goes down. And Because um, they do not match. We're going to pop these off now. Literally, just need to pop this one off. And this one just for the seal and this one actually. Actually, no, I think I gotta pop off all of them, take off the can, take that seal off. But let's get that going. Alright, so we popped off these already. I didn't have to take all of them off actually. I already got the seals out. I just popped them off, took off the can gear, and I was able to slide them out. We're gonna do this one now, which is already. Ah, shit. You gotta be careful, make sure you don't scar the head, but I don't, I don't think this head's any good actually, so I don't know if he's gonna, what he's gonna do with it. But this is the one that we need right here. So, let's get this out real quick. Ooh. It's okay. It's probably not the right way to do it, but it's okay. Alright. And I think besides that, all we need is a solenoid and we're good to go on the motor on this one. Gotta get the GSR now. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a, it's a safety. Look at that shit. Look at the difference on that shit. Sheesh. Yeah. Father, what have you been recording your ass? Damn it. <laughs> What's going on his OnlyFans later? I'm going to get a cut. Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you need, you need a BBL. You might. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. I forgot I was still recording when I was saying that. <laughs> I'm making a win, so I don't need BBLs, bro. I just eat more yuca. That's all I need. I can eat some yuca. Nah, what, what do you guys I think? I'm, I'm going to let you guys say this. What do you guys think? Does, does he need a BBL? Yahweh, <laughs> stop, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, this was show better not be on OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm for sure coming after you for royalties. Watch you lost money. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I get this sued. I get sued. <laughs> How'd you put you. that? Oh, <laughs> I pay for that. Mm -hmm. Man, guys, so this is the GSR. So it's a little rusty. Just that means this nigga got a shotgun for the video there, right? It's only fair. Yeah, it's only fair. It's only I, fair. I record. It's only fair, dude. It's only fair. <laughs> you gotta be on his ass. You gotta take something out. What about you? Nah, I'm one gear ahead of you. He, he said he gotta go home because of the girl. Oh, you shot him too? I'm one gear ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> you shot him too? I'll shot you this one. I'm gonna fire. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start taking this one apart. I'm gonna use the bolts from the B16 because these are rusty and these are no goes. I'm gonna pop off the head right now and see how that's looking. All right, so we're already at this point on here. Got all the cams, everything all off. I already broke these loose. Make sure you guys do break them loose in order or you can warp the head. Keeping everything over here nice and tidy. Boy, how we about to go on a ride? <laughs> Doing better than me already, so I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take all the bolts out and pop the head off. It's okay, I put an axe in front of you. So yeah, he made it back I don't good. Want to be that guy. I see how much shit I give you. We got the head off already. Yeah. Doesn't look bad, but we're gonna put the other new one anyways. But I'm gonna copper spray it, so yeah. I'll show you guys the new one after this copper spray. How to put it back together. All right, so we got the. Head gasket copper spray now. We're letting it tack up a little bit before we can set it on there. Wow, Look at these wow, guys. Wow, Look at bro. these guys. <laughs> to record, bro. Wow. All right. Indecentes. <laughs> no ass. Well, no cakes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to set the ARPs in there. We're going to use the ARP Molly lube. Put a little bit on here and a little bit on here. But all, all you really need is... Uh, and Allen to tie them up. You don't need to over tie them. Just kind of snug them up and you'll be good. So let's set them in there. All right, so we got the we got the head sitting on there now. Got the, all the studs in there. You can't see right now, but we're gonna put these washers in. And then the, the nuts going after that and just torque it down. All right, so we have all the little nuts and everything going in there. Um, we're gonna start torquing it down right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the torque wrench and with the molly grease, you want to do 60 pounds. With the oil, you want to do 80 pounds. So I'm using the molly grease, so we're going to go ahead and you want to do it in increments. So you could do 20, 40, 60, or however you want to do it. But that's how I'm going to do it. So let me go ahead and grab the torque wrench and I'm going to start torquing it. All right, so I already went through all of them. This is the last one. Pretty much show you guys how it is. 20. Now we're going to go ahead and... Sorry guys, I know it's hard to see. I'm trying. I'm gonna set it to 40. And we're gonna start again with our pattern. I'm gonna snell outward. You can see it moving. 40. So we're gonna go ahead and do all of them and do it to 60. And that's pretty much how you torque it. Alright, here we go. We got everything torqued down now. So pretty much now. I gotta just start putting this uh like the valve train back in and then after that timing belt water pump and we're good to go that's pretty much it and uh, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do all this today it's already getting pretty late pretty tired already but yeah let's, let's, let's keep it going there you go so the cams are in here now start putting the little caps back in the actual cam caps we're going to make sure we torque everything down. I got the new seals in here. There, there. So let's finish putting this back together. The only thing that's going to be left right here is the Dizzy. Which I think he has in the car. But we're not going to put that on right now. So just keep putting it back together. We're almost there. Here we go. We got everything torqued down now. Making some progress. About to pop off the crank pulley on this one. Then the B16. And swap everything over. The timing ball and water pump too. Alright, so we just had a, this guy just sold a single cam, the dudes that picked it up literally just threw it in the back of a camera with the transmission and everything, trunk wasn't even closed, driving like 30 minutes away like that. That ain't many for that, but uh, alright, it made it work. And, uh, look, look at this beast. <laughs> Bro, that shit's smoking, be cool. <laughs> so that's pretty much it on this video. I did the whole ARP studs, did the whole valve train. Only thing left is he has to do a, he has to order a front main and a rear main seal, and the Dizzy O-ring and VTEC solenoid O-rings, or gaskets. But I'm not gonna show that on this video. I don't want to wait until everything to post the video. There's plenty of videos on the timing belt stuff. Uh, we're gonna get that next, and after that, that's pretty much it. 
change those gaskets out and this thing's good to go so yeah guys make sure you guys like subscribe comment and hopefully i start doing my motor soon throw mine in my hatch i'm pretty much do the same thing i'm doing on this one but um i'm gonna have to clean my injectors all that other stuff maybe i'll even make a video when we're dropping the motor in actually on this one so stay tuned i'm gonna be dropping more tl videos pretty soon and the car, we're actually almost done with the car only like bumper and rockers left and we're done probably gonna finish it tomorrow probably by the time this video is uploaded it'll be done but um yeah stay tuned for the future videos appreciate everybody that does support and i'm gonna catch you on the next one